This episode is brought to you by newspapers.com, offering 20% off a publisher extra subscription. Just use the code Family Tree Magazine all together at checkout. That's code Family Tree Magazine for 20% off publisher extra. Welcome to Family Tree Magazine's Best Websites Podcast. This is the podcast devoted to finding the best websites to help you with your genealogy research. I'm Lisa Louise Cook. Even if you belong to a genealogy society in your local area, there's a lot to gain from also going virtual to get even more genealogical education and camaraderie. And that's where this month's best website comes in. It's the Virtual Genealogical Association. You'll find it at virtualgenealogy.org. And here to tell us more about it is the president, Jeanette Shaliga. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Lisa. It's so nice to talk to you. It's so wonderful to catch up with you, too. We've crossed paths many times over the years, and I see you're staying as busy as ever. You are now the president of the Virtual Genealogical Association. So let everybody know, what is that? Well, we tend to call it VGA. And it started back in 2018 to be the equivalent of a local genealogical society for maybe people that lived in areas that didn't have a local society near them that they could participate in, or for people that um, loved genealogy programming and being part of you know groups, and they were interested in it being virtual. And so, um, one of the founding you know founders was Catherine Wilson, and um, she started this back in 2018, and it's been going strong ever since. Wow, it's tremendous, and it really is just an amazing educational resource. I mean, that's what we're seeing here. Um, gosh, you get to the homepage and. We see lots of webinars. So tell us, are you specializing in particular areas of genealogy? Is this just kind of a wonderful potpourri? What can we look forward to? Yeah. So again, similar to a local society, we offer monthly programs. Um, And actually, we offer two monthly programs. Um, So each month, there are two presentations given. And, um, you, you know, the members are encouraged to attend the webinars live, but if they're not able to, they are all recorded and those recordings are available for six months after the live event. And so you can re-watch the program and pause it and go, wait a minute, I need to, you know, put this in practice and re-watch it again as many times as you'd like to for six months after the recording. That's for members um, because we do have an annual membership, which again, similar to a local society is only $25 a year. And then in addition to our monthly programs, we also have some special interest groups, um, SIGs, just like your local society does. Right now, we currently have a book club that's being hosted by Sunny Morton. And every other month, a title is selected and members get together and discuss that. We also have um, VGA Hangouts, which I am the host for, and that's where we pick a topic and it's different each time where we work together on our own tree with like-minded people in the same Zoom and you can ask questions or share your exciting, you know, like finds. Um, I think the very first one we did was working on on Ancestry Hints or whatever website you wanted to use. And so we just got together for an hour and gabbed and, you know, asked questions and talked. We've also um, gotten together and worked on uh, newspaper websites. Coming up, we're going to do one with photos. And so you can use that time however you would like. You can scan photos during that hour. You can tag people's faces in photos or play with some of the new photo tools that they've got out there. You can organize your photos on your, you know, in your computer, or you can even, you know, share some of the photos and hold them up to your computer camera to, um, you know, share with the others and ask opinions of the group, uh, you know, like, when do you guys think that this, you know, photo is dated and, and other items like that. So we have lots of fun. 
Gosh, it sounds like it. A lot like being in an in-person society, but now you're getting the chance to kind of rub elbows with people from all over. And yet you might share a lot of the same interests and challenges in your own family tree, a lot of uh, socializing. When somebody comes to the website, they're going to see the, the programs. And you said that membership is kind of what gives you that access. Maybe you could walk us through. How could they get involved? What, what do they need to do? Yeah, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share that. So you just go to virtualgenealogy.org and across the top, there is a join slash renew button. You fill out the form on there. And as I said, it's $25 for a year. So you're going to get two programs every month. We even have a virtual conference in November that's included in your membership and the ability to... Um, participate in these different special interest groups, um, such as the book club and the VGA hangouts. We're even working on starting a crafting one, a genealogy crafting SIGS. I love it. (laughs) So that's in there. And you just pay via PayPal. And so it just, it's all virtual. And, you know, as soon as the, that goes through, you have access immediately to the past six months of recordings of the various um, programs that we've had. And depending on when you join, you know, like you might catch the conference or, you know, other items like that. You know, if you weren't able to attend the book club, you could still watch the discussion on that. So that's a great aspect. So there might be people who work during the times that you're having a, a get together or a meeting, but they you can still fully enjoy this tr- strictly on demand where you're watching video recordings. Is that right? Yes. Okay, great. And then are there like, sometimes we go to a, a seminar or a meeting and they'll hand out the notes that the speaker are referring to. Is that something that's available with all of the different programs? Yes, not for our SIGs, but for the monthly programs and the programs for the conference, when you go into the past webinars area of the member center, you can see all of the options that are available to you within that six month time frame before they expire. And you will find the video clip right in there. And then right underneath it is the PDF handout that you can download. Oh, terrific. Today's episode is sponsored by Newspapers.com. It's the largest online newspaper archive. Newspapers.com makes it easy to find your family's story with more than a half a billion digitized newspaper pages from the 1690s to today. Search for obituaries, marriage announcements, birth announcements, photos, and more in papers from across the United States, the UK, Canada, and beyond, stretching back three centuries. For listeners of this podcast, newspapers.com is offering 20% off a Publisher Extra subscription. Just use the code FAMILYTREEMAGAZINE. Altogether, no spaces at checkout. That's code FAMILYTREEMAGAZINE for 20% off Publisher Extra. Now, I see a lot of fun, familiar faces, certainly people I have worked with and spoken alongside of over the years. Share with with the listeners, um, some of the kinds of talent that you've got that are speaking on VGA and also what kind of topics they're touching on. Oh, gosh. So VGA is not just a United States. You know, we might be based in the United States, but we get speakers from all over the world and we have members from all over the world. And that's one reason why our program times change. Sometimes we have them at night. Sometimes we have it during the day to allow for times, you know, for when people are living in other time zones to maybe catch some of the programs live if they'd like to. And so we do a call for um, presenters each year. And you'll see that coming up this fall on Conference Keeper and on our website. And different speakers from all of the over the world submit their proposals to VGA. And we pick, you know, um, diverse topics that are sometimes well-rounded, you know, like kind of when you're talking about, you know, just writing, you know, and that's something that no matter where you live and what time frame you're working on, you can probably pull a couple nuggets out of a presentation like that. But then there's also ones where it's a very specific topic, you know, that might be your interest. And um, just recently, last month, we had um, a 
a D- I'm sorry, we had Adina Newman do one on DNA Painter. Um, And so if people are very interested in using the tools at that website, that would be a program that, you know, they could watch and then rewatch again and everything like that. So we have a wide variety of topics that are available to our members. You mentioned that when you first get online and become a member, that you're going to have access to the last six months of presentations. So should they focus on some of the older ones first to watch? Are they going to fall off the list as new things come on and time passes? Or how does that work? They do fall off. And so you definitely do, you definitely want to scroll to the bottom of the list before they go. And we also do try to post a little reminder in our social medias on, um, you know, say, hey, you know, heads up, this is gonna, you know, expire in a couple of days or a week, you know. And so that way you can catch it before it goes. Because once it's it's gone, you know, like it's gone. Yeah. yeah. Now you mentioned social media and um, I know that you have lots of camaraderie and your hangouts and all that. Uh, Is there a Facebook group or page and what kind of things could they get involved in over there? Yeah, so we have a members only Facebook group that members can ask questions and even promote programs that are going on at their local societies, you know, or just anything like that. We can also discuss some of the programs. In the past, we have also had like a ask me type of thing where we have gotten um, Blaine Bettinger, you know, one year, you know, ask him any question. He's there all day and people would post, um, you know, in that Facebook thread and then he would respond to it. So those are some of the benefits of having, you know, the members only group, but we also have a YouTube channel. And uh, so we have lots of interviews with our speakers on our YouTube channel, but also every April, um, we have for the past two years celebrated VGA's birthday. And we have recorded um, these mini sessions. Sometimes they're five minutes, sometimes they're 15 half hour, hour long sessions where the presenters have donated their their presentation to help celebrate the birthday. And you can find um, the recordings for those on our YouTube channel for free. Wow, you guys have really expanded. Are you a, a nonprofit? Are you a society? Are you a corporation? What kind of entity are you? We are not a nonprofit. Um, we are just a, a, a society. You know, we're not we're not out to make lots of money. (laughs) And uh, no, we're just like a local society that hasn't put in for a nonprofit yet, if that makes sense. We have the same, yeah, like the same morals, you know, (laughs) like your morale, like kind of like, but we just have not applied to be a nonprofit. Well, and I can see that, you know, over time, I know since Catherine first started it, it it has evolved. You guys keep growing. You've got some wonderful branding now. And I'm just looking at your Instagram page. So, you know, it's, it's a whole evolutionary process. And it's just wonderful to see that you can stay solvent and make this available because isn't that the big challenge in the genealogy industry? It's, it's not a place we all go to get rich. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that's why with our, you know, uh, staying at a, a cheaper price, you know, like being a, getting an annual membership for $25 US, you know, is to be able to be a part of a community. As I said, if you don't happen to live near a local society where you can go and be like, oh my gosh, you guys, look what I found. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, and, and share that. You can come share that with us. We'll be your your genealogy friends. <laughs> Wonderful place to find a friend. And I would encourage everybody listening just to get a, a taste of what Jeanette's talking about here in terms of the kinds of programs. And it is a wide variety. Go over to virtualgenealogy.org. And if you click on programs up in the main menu, you get a chance to kind of scroll through those last six months. And while you don't get access till you become a member, you do get a chance to see the kind of talent and the kind of topics and wide ranging topics. Have you, have you had any big favorites lately that really impacted your genealogy research, Jeanette? Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like every program, <laughs> I am constantly like getting little clues here and there where I'm just like, I gotta, I gotta go try this, but I have to stay focused and do like my job, you right. know, <laughs> like, 
Um, but in particular, in July, uh, Diane Richard did one on getting lost in ledgers. And I just became obsessed with the idea of trying to find ledgers from stores where my ancestors might have shopped, you know, and to find out like, how much flour did they need any buttons? I don't know. You know, like I just, <laughs> I am so excited. I've yet to find one, but she gave tons of resources on where you might be able to find some, you know, scans of ledgers or items like that, you know, to go find. So I find every program has been an inspiration for my genealogy. Oh, that's something you could definitely get lost in. Well, I can give you one example that pops into my mind, because uh, I think I've actually even talked with Diane on that topic before that um, I found my husband's great grandfather was a storekeeper, a hardware and lumber storekeeper out in Minnesota. And when he passed in his probate records were all these ledgers of things that people owed him money for. But in the same time, it was describing what they had purchased. So what a funny place, you know, to, to yeah. find those kinds of records, they could be tucked away anywhere. And they do give us that look at social history as well. How fun. I know our local library has some, but they're not where my ancestors <laughs> lived. But I, I go and I hold them and you know, and I just like, the pages. I find them fascinating. <laughs> well, this is fascinating. It's a place where I think every genealogist can come and uh, certainly has something to learn. We're talking about the virtualgenealogy.org website. And you've been listening to, to Jeanette Chalega, who is the president of the Virtual Genealogical Association. It's always good to talk to you. Thank you so much for sharing this terrific resource. We appreciate it. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Family Tree Magazine's Best Websites Podcast. You can find the show notes at familytreemagazine.com slash podcast. Also, while you're at the website, I would encourage you to sign up for our free email newsletter. It's the perfect way to stay in touch with everything we've got going on at Family Tree Magazine, including our other podcast, the Family Tree Magazine Podcast. I'm Lisa Louise Cook, and you can find me at my website, genealogygems.com, where you'll find links to my podcast, the Genealogy Gems podcast, and YouTube channel. Until next time, have fun climbing your family tree. <laughs>